Hello, I am at the washing machines. Uh, this is part of my daily life, is uh, doing lots and lots of laundry. Um, and these machines were actually really hard to find when we first came to Pattaya. In Chiang Mai it was really easy because our apartment building had them in the basement. Um, and when we came to Pattaya the first time, we could not find coin-operated machines. They have lots of laundry service, but it's really expensive. You actually pay per piece, so it's like 20 baht for a pair of jeans and like 10 baht per sock or maybe a pair or something. Um, to put that in perspective, to wash socks, assuming a pair is 10 and a pair of jeans would be a dollar. Um, otherwise, I could just do all of my laundry. This is by Kilo, so 40 baht for uh, what appears to be a, a 60 something. But these are the different coin operated machines. And because I deal in cash all the time, I have coins. So that's great. Um, I'm going to walk back to my apartment now. So I would have been fighting today, but uh, if you've been following along my fight that I thought was last night, or that I thought, thought was today and was driving up to see yesterday is actually next month. Um, so that's frustrating. But I just got back to training and um, worked really hard, uh, went pretty hard with uh, everyone at the gym. Pechi Ja gave me a little black eye. I don't know if you can see it, it's like right in my eyelid. Um, she punched me. <laughs> um, and she gets, she gets a little intense sometimes. And I think it's because, um, one, it's not bad. Bringing the fight energy is actually really good. Um, it's just a little bit hard because she weighs like 80 pounds and I weigh like 105 pounds or something. So I can't like just go back at her full bore because I'm bigger. Um, but sometimes she gets a little intense and I think it's because she's always just trained with Mawin, her brother, who's basically the same size. Like they have like a kilo difference between them, if that. Um, and she's actually taller than he is. He's stronger than she is, um, but she's really strong. Uh, so I think that she's used to going with him and there are days that she can overpower him and days that she, you know, is kind of getting schooled by him a little bit more and it's just this like give and take with her brother. But I'm bigger. Like, I don't think that she's used to training with people who are actually physically bigger. And I'm really strong. So she kind of doesn't... This is not that she's like, I don't understand. It's that she's not used to people being bigger than her. So in exactly the same way that when I was in Chiang Mai, and I would get my ass kicked by someone who was like almost twice my size, and I'd be like, it doesn't matter. I should be able to blah, 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 blah. Like, you can't, you cannot do anything about like, 40 pound weight difference like no matter how excellent your skill is that 40 pounds if it's being used against you in a way that's effective there's nothing you can do about it so when you see these like tiny little fighters who are just beating up on people bigger than them they're using skill they're not using like strength to outdo these people so I finally started to figure out that size actually does make this really big difference and that the reason I was getting my ass kicked and unable to use the things that I thought I knew how to do in Chiang Mai was because these people were bigger than me. I learned that by going against people smaller than me, where I'm like, wow, there's nothing this kid can do to me. It's like 30 kilos. And uh, Peji Jha doesn't have that. Like, she doesn't go against people that much smaller than her. Um, I mean, she does, and so she knows where that comes from, but she's never gone against someone big like me. Um, so I think that she gets really, really frustrated not understanding that it's just my size, like it's simply my size. And so she'll start, like, going full bore. Like, she'll start kneeing me so hard. She was punching me, like, trying to knock me out. Um, which, you know, I don't, I don't know that she could, unless she got, like, super lucky. I don't know, glass chin. Um, but it's, it, she, it, the intensity is there. And so I kind of, like, when I first started, um, I would just kind of, you know, come back a little bit or something. Um, as a way to kind of, like, at least respond to it. But we know each other now. Like, I don't have to, like, baby her. Um, and so I come back hard. And I don't come back with my full force. I'm bigger. But I bring the fight energy to it. And uh, it, can, it can escalate. But because I'm bigger, she just can't... She can't win those exchanges. It's exactly like me and my brothers. Like, I did not understand it's because my brothers were bigger. But I know, like, I viscerally know that emotional anger of like not being able to win those exchanges. And so that's what we're dealing with today. So she's coming at me today, trying to end me. And I was just throwing her on the ground, like literally just using my strength to like shove her off of me. And uh, 
It was rough, I think, for both of us. It's good training for both of us. Both of us need it. But um, it's, uh, you know, it's like learning these, these balances. Um, and it, you know, <laughs> it can lead to one or both or either of us crying. Uh, today was not one of those days. Um, but uh, again, you know, good for both of us. And more often than not, it's me that's crying. Um, so that's that. And I'm back up in my apartment building. I forgot what I was talking about, which is kind of normal. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's what today was like. Training was really good at uh, Petrongrong. Bank has been sick for a little while, so his power was way down, and I was really just like kicking his ass and clinch. And now his power's coming back, which I could feel. But I still got some things. I even threw him on the ground, so that was awesome. I was like, in that time that you weren't feeling so great, I learned some skills. So that was my day. That was good. Um, and I saw a bunch of puppies. So I'll talk to you guys later.